Hey there guys, so we're back again. Ryan J. Owens, owner at Elite. We're gonna have on Kayla Stapleton. She's in Finland this year. Uh, we talk a little bit about just how pros have started off, what they've learned, what they're learning about themselves, what they would have done differently when they started, looking for jobs, looking for agents, educating themselves about the pro world. So we hope you enjoy it. Tomorrow I'll be going live in a session uh, by myself, if I if my staff has time, they'll jump in. But if you have questions, make sure you ask them in the story, and make sure you head over to elitevolley.com forward slash pro volley one hundred and one to check out all of these plus a whole series of videos that just basically teach you without bias about pro volleyball, help you actually uh, give agents in there that you can contact and things like that. So. Uh, really, this is a, a mission to help you guys make better decisions and get to know us a little bit. Kayla, I just invited you. Hey. Hello. On every kind of way. I can't figure out which way to put it. <laughs> All right. So let's just jump right into it. Yeah. I hope the internet's going to be good. Uh, I hope so too. Before it's we even not start, problem, make but... sure that you have every app on your. Make sure you have every app on your phone closed. Make sure your Wi-Fi is off on your devices. The other ones. <laughs> Are we good? I just, okay, <laughs> I think we're good. <laughs> if you got a roommate that's on Wi-Fi and downloading movies illegally, tell her to stop. No. <laughs> I would never. <laughs> One minute or less, how would you describe yourself? Uh, I would say I'm a very fun, loving, hardworking um, person. <laughs> I don't know. It's hard to put it in one sentence. Is it? Anyways, we came up with this, uh, the interview came up short for you, so you didn't have a day to prepare. Yeah. <laughs> Age, um, position, and where you're from. Kayla, I turned 26 yesterday. I'm a setter. I'm from California. And what was the other thing? You, you got everything. <laughs> oh. <laughs> cool. <laughs> and your college and pro experience until now. So I played first at Liberty University, which is in Virginia. I transferred to the University of San Diego. Is it working? And transferred to San Diego. Okay. And then um, I had a shoulder surgery, so I missed a year. And then I played in Switzerland, and then I missed another year. <laughs> and now I'm in Finland. Okay. And did you play Euro Cup while you were in Switzerland? I did, did not. Okay. So how is uh, pro level and life different than college? Um, first of all, the biggest difference is, for me has been physically. Um, it's basically nine months of preseason. So the times where I thought college was tough were really not. <laughs> I got overseas and um, had to learn how to really take care of my body. And then also just life in general, you don't really have a social life. If you're not super lucky, um, you don't speak the language, you have actually a lot of free time um, as well. Yeah. And can you Explain the difference between the two leagues that you've played uh, and college and the levels. So at least in the leagues that I've played in, um, the, the pros are typically pretty good. They were pretty good in college. Um, and then um, the – the local girls, depending on if you're on a team that has national team players on it, um, they'll be pretty much the same level, sometimes better. Um, but sometimes there's a little bit of a drop off. So you end up with a little bit of a gap sometimes, which makes for some interesting volleyball kind of just depends on the team you're on and what 
um, local girls are on the team. Yeah. And right now you're trying to work your way back into pro volleyball because when you have to take some time off, it's always difficult road to get Yeah. It's nice that you're, you're there in Finland working on everything. I think things are going well, but we'll hit that up too. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> What's your vision and goals right now that you've come back um, the end of this season into next season? Um, I've always been someone that really has big goals and big aspirations and felt like I had a lot of potential that I um, wanted to try to reach and – Lately, I've been feeling like that has put a lot of pressure on myself that's not very helpful. So I've kind of tried to zone in on one day at a time and just enjoying the opportunity to play again because um, I didn't think I was going to. So I've actually found that it's helping me play better to just kind of relax. And I mean, I always work hard, so that's not really... I, knew, I know that's not really an issue that I'll slack off. So it's, I just want to get better with each day that I'm able to play because it's just a blessing to be able to do this again. Yeah. And why did you choose this team and how is it going? Well, I decided to try to play again a little bit late in signing. Well, maybe not late, but um, it was hard finding a team that would give me another chance. Um, so a few things had kind of popped up, but this one really just felt like kind of a perfect fit for me where it was still high level, but it wasn't a lot of pressure um, compared to maybe like a really high level league. Um, and it was just kind of perfect timing, perfect situation, felt right. Nice. And what do teams expect from you as a pro? To win. <laughs> um, you have to take care of yourself. You have to be a leader. You have to um, just be consistent, I guess. And most of all, just show that you're doing your best. There's not much else you can really do. <laughs> yeah. Well, I think you hit the nail on the head there with uh, win first. I mean, yeah. is the primary goal because you're dealing with business now. Mm -hmm. That is the goal. It's not to go out there and lose. So right. <laughs> if you lose, you better be doing as best as you can. That's the exactly. Whole <laughs> All right. So then let's just jump into a little bit about agencies and things like that. So you chose to come to us. Um, what is Elite Volley Fam in your from your perspective, since you're newer to us, and why did you mm -hmm. choose us? Um, I could tell that, I mean, I feel like you've tried to create more of like a community. Um, I think it's nice to have a group of people that are all kind of doing the same thing. And um, I see it kind of as a resource, I guess. Mm -hmm. And why did you choose us? Um, <laughs> well, I was in a spot where I knew that um, – I knew I was a good player, but I knew that my situation was going to be a tough sell. Um, and I have met you personally. I've seen what you've done for a lot of even friends of mine and other girls, and I just knew that um, you were someone that – was really invested in their players and that you would actually hear me out, understand my situation and actually try to help me like as a, like an invested um, thing, I guess. Yeah. And why would you say an agent is important in your process, this whole thing of, of pro volley? Like why are we needed? So many reasons. <laughs> Um, just exposure, getting a job in the first place, um, and then just having someone, um, I haven't had any terrible experiences, but I've heard horror stories of girls getting in really bad situations in a country that they don't speak the language, and maybe they ran out of money, or maybe 
there's been just really crappy stuff that's happened. And so having a good agent who can kind of have your back and make sure that you're taken care of and everything's as it should be is really important. Yeah. And what, since you've come on, since you are newer, I like the idea that we've had some players with us for six years on, for three years, for six months, nine months, a year. Mm -hmm. um, in your time with me, what would you say that I expect from you as a player so that our relationship can work and I can do my job for you? I mean, I don't, I just know that you don't want to be putting in all this work if I'm not, that's not really fair. So I, I just know that I'm expected to be um, taking care of myself, working as hard as I can, trying to put myself out there. Um, and yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like it. And how is it to work with me so far and give an example or two if you've benefited from something? Yeah, I mean, I, you got me a job. Obviously. <laughs> uh, <laughs> no, I mean, I'm super thankful for the opportunity that you were able to find for me. And the most specific thing I can think of was recent. Um, just some kind of stuff has been coming up for my in my personal life and I started to really struggle this time of year can be really hard overseas anyways. And so dealing with some stuff, I was just kind of not doing great mentally. I gave you a call and an hour later you got me in touch with a sports psychologist. Um, you checked in the next day and um, were just incredibly helpful. Like I just knew that you had my back. Um, and you had like real actual help. It wasn't just like, oh, you're doing great. Like <laughs> you were on it with like getting me actual resources that were super helpful. Yeah, cool. Well, I'm happy to help. And, and for me, it starts with you being able to communicate that. And I think that mm -hmm. all comes from a point of trust. It's, it's, yeah. and trust is hard to build. And I think one thing that I've learned is that it's it's better to give that trust up front and be vulnerable and see what people do with it than to hold it and yeah never, or wait too long so i'm just really I'm, I'm grateful that you did say something because yeah yeah i have all these friends who want to help people <laughs> like just i'm waiting to be like connect, connect. yeah no, okay it's been great um let's see the good, the bad, and the ugly, I'm calling this question, because uh, I did start this agency because I got screwed over by teams and agents. And for me, it was just really important to, um, I wanted to change the game. I wanted to bring something different to the table. I knew that I wanted to have an elite level company, but at the same time, I knew that I also didn't want to leave those players like me, who, when I first started, you know, at out of high school, wasn't recruited, found my way to a JUCO, got on all these teams by myself doing all this research and, and just working hard, you know, um, I wanted to create something special. So this question is not to diss anyone. It's more just to get an idea of what we're really about and what we're doing and what's out there so that these athletes can think and make decisions and be careful so that they end up somewhere the best version of mm -hmm. them they can that first time at least. So what do you like or respect about our agency compared to what you now know about other agencies? It's just a completely different experience. My first agency had way too many players. They didn't even, I don't think they even knew who I was. So they weren't able to like sell me to the right level, to the right fit. Um, you have actually taken time to like get to know your players and, you actually really care about putting us in really good positions. And so you sell, like, I feel like I can trust you to sell me and like actually work to get me in a spot that I deserve, that I'm good for. Um, and, you know, vice versa. Um, I think you tried to find a good fit for the person, um, which is kind of what I'm trying to say, which other agencies in my experience have just, they just want to put you somewhere so that they can get it done with. Um, so I really appreciate the like personal aspect of working with you. 
Um, yeah, for me, I mean, that's why I do it. That's how I even get the energy to keep going. I'd rather mm -hmm. keep all these things popping up, you know, than just be really not in tune with the players. Because for me, it keeps me close to the game. It keeps me close to what I love, which is helping people because so many people help me. Um, just in line with that, let's segue into taking the knowledge that you have outside of your personal experience, uh, because they now know that, and thinking like, what are the common mistakes that you hear that rookie pros will make when they're choosing an agency? Um, just not knowing options. Um, it's, it's, I mean, for Americans, it's really not um, like a super common thing. A lot of girls don't understand what they're getting themselves into. So they don't, they don't know that there are European agents that might be really good for them or there there's, op, you know, there are options basically. Yeah. No. And then what would you say are the common mistakes you hear rookie pro pros making with the jobs that they choose? I would say the main one is girls thinking that they're going to go travel and have this kind of magical experience. And then they get, in a country where they don't understand the language and they don't really have any friends and it's a grind and you don't have time to travel and they hate it. Um, cause they just, that's not what they expected. Um, and then the other one I would actually say is girls that maybe did really well in college and then go to like a really high level team mm -hmm. kind of get in over their heads and it's, Again, like not this crazy, awesome experience all the time. Like it, it is, but it's not glitz and glam. And when you have a ton of pressure and it's a completely new experience, sometimes it's just like a little much for girls that didn't expect it to be so much. Yeah. Um, cool. Thanks for that. I think actually uh, just to feed into that, because we got one more question left after this, but um this is just it, it's for me a huge thing i know that because we're a smaller agency by choice saying that you know we want to have 15 to 20 um athletes per agent with us because we do want to give that quality but also not really have so much competition mm -hmm. with the agency and if we are we want different people managing these athletes so we make sure we're giving the same amount of time to putting them in places and managing them while they're there right um I think that a big thing that you just said is you have this mentality of pros where it's like this fairy tale of, of pro life and you've got to get down to the reality of it is that, yeah, you might be able to take that weekend trip to Paris or to mm -hmm. Berlin or Barcelona or Athens or whatever, but it's few. It's, uh, yeah. <laughs> not, it's and they're short. <laughs> yeah. You know, and I, I miss so many Christmases back home, so many holidays that I couldn't be back home. So mm -hmm. it's one of those things that if you're going to do this, you better. And I talk about this in the Pro Volley 101 video. So if you go to, if you just type Pro Volley 101 into YouTube or you go to EliteVolley.com forward slash Pro Volley 101, you'll see those videos. And like what I talk about are two types of athletes where you have the holiday athlete, the holiday pro, and mm -hmm. then you have the pro that's really getting after it. They really want to do it. And there's a couple versions of the holiday pro and there's a couple versions of the get after it pro. Like I think you're a get after it pro. That's like, I'm not trying to be an Olympian. I'm just trying right. to be the best player, the best pro that I can be. And I don't want to put that drama and that weight on myself. Yeah. To I'm not actually aiming for because you are in this different category, you know, you're very competitive. And so it's really good when you find your lane. And I think mm -hmm. once you find your lane, you've got to own it and you got to be upfront with people that you're going to deal with. Because yeah. we don't have the space to deal with vacation volleyball players because we're aimed at and specialized at, like, you want to be elite? We're going to help you be that way for whatever yeah. your goals are, right? Whatever your personal goals are. So that's really good feedback about that kind of that fairy tale. Yeah. Time machine. Sorry, what? So now I want you to jump back into your body. And mm -hmm. what steps would you take to start this process the moment you thought of even going pro? I wish I had put myself out there more. I asked one person who their agent was and basically signed with their agent because I didn't know that there were other options. 
Um, and I didn't really personally know a lot of girls that had played overseas. And I wish I had just like stalked some of them on Instagram and messaged them or some, you know, anything to just ask them how they did it. I really didn't have a clue. So I, I mean, I also went to my college coaches and asked them, um, but I think it's important to talk to actual players that are in the game now. Yeah, for sure. And I, I, I think um, what you just said, uh, research, you need background, you need, you need to have options. And I think it's really important. Um, if a coach says to me, you know, I really like what you're doing and, and blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, well, thank you, first of all. Uh, secondly, I would never hope that a coach would just recommend me. I would also hope that they recommended that that athlete, you know, hey, here's my personal experience with this agency or these agents, but look for yourself. Go look at the ones that you even hear yeah. about because maybe you'll find something different. I think Lindsay yeah. comment of talk to the players that are with those agents so that you can really get a grasp of how they work because maybe that's for you, you know? Right. Anyways, all right, cool. Well, thank you so much. Yeah, of course. Last minutes, all the best. Who's coming up? What's the next match? We play BSD on Friday. So You're playing one of, like, the all-time great teams from Finland. And yes. uh, hopefully our player, Kayla Heinlein, is ready. Uh, we'll see. She's yeah. 